Hey everyone, hope all is well, and welcome to the Zen Den, my home on wheels. I wanted to start off by saying thank you guys so much for all your support and comments on my last video and thank you for your patience. It really means a lot to me and I'm really grateful to see that my posts resonated with so many people. Uh, the last two months I've been working on RV renovations, getting used to living in my RV and uh, not only just for me but for my cat Indigo who I've had for seven beautiful years. And one of my goals for living this lifestyle was to share the world with her. I th she loves it. She's finding her confidence. And it's just amazing to have her with me. There's nothing like having a pet with you on the road. So a bit more about who I am. I am 29 years old. I have always had a passion for art and decided to pursue it at the age of 19. I moved out of my parents' house and moved across country to be an artist. And um, through that journey, I was able to um, pick up on art modeling, which is I posed for painting and drawing classes at colleges and universities all over the country. And that's supported me for um, almost a decade now. Through that, I actually got into painting watercolors. I make these paintings called Dream Girls. They're all inspired by self-love and doing what you love. I would live paint at events and vend at art walks and stuff like that. Those two things became my passion and my livelihood, along with being a homeowner. And I also love being out in nature. I love hiking and exploring, and um, it really calls to me. So all of those things um, combined gave me the um, opportunity to travel. About four years ago, I found out about the RV lifestyle through Bob Wells, Cheap RV Living on YouTube, and he interviews people living in vans, Priuses, RVs cars, whatnot, really intrigued me that there's people living this alternative lifestyle. So I made it a goal that that's what I wanted to do. I weighed out the pros and cons of switching my lifestyle, did as much research as I can on how to live the lifestyle, and eventually I decided, okay, I'm going to do it. So um, I decided the way I wanted to afford it, because I wanted to own my home outright. Um, was to sell my home that I had for six years. And it was a tough decision, but it was definitely something that I don't regret doing. So last year I sold my house and I'm just so grateful that I was able to do this because this is my second home that I've owned and I absolutely love my house, <laughs> uh, my tiny home on wheels. Um, I think it's important to take risks and, and do what you love and, and to pursue what makes you happy. And that's why I decided to do this lifestyle because it was calling to me. It was in my season to do it. Even with COVID and all the challenges that has come with it, I am just so grateful I have this. This has been an RV I've been looking at for a pretty long time. So a bit more about this particular RV. This is a Majestic 19G RV. It's a 2016 model and I bought it through Cruise America. Cruise America is an RV rental company so you can rent these units before buying them. So what they do after um, a certain amount of years, I think it's four years or so, they resell these RVs. Um, this one in particular I was interested in because of it's 19 feet and I'd be traveling by myself and with my cat, which she doesn't take up a lot of room. On January 28th, 2020, I bought my Majestic 19G RV. I bought it for 40K. 
with warranty with powertrain and um, the house warranty on it that lasts for four years if I wouldn't have bought it without the warranty I think it would have been about 36 K to me that was worth it I own it outright and um, I don't regret it I don't regret this at all like I love my home so much the one drawback of this RV is the gas mileage I get about 10 to 11 miles per gallon now that's not good but my condo only got zero miles per gallon so this moves a lot faster than that and honestly since being in this lifestyle I have slowed down my pace and I'm not in a rush to get anywhere Honestly, especially during COVID, I especially don't want to move around too fast. It's easy to drive. It's like driving a truck. And again, I love that my bed is right next to my driver's seat so I can go if I need to. I also have protection too, and I know how to use it. Before I bought the RV, I actually looked at a couple other RVs. Um, I looked at Class B's, which I thought was a bit too small for me and my cat. I know some people do it. I just like a little bit more space. Um, I looked into converted vans, but I didn't have a space to renovate one out, and it, I just got done remodeling my house and selling it. I really didn't want to go right into doing that. Um, I wanted something that was already built out, and then I could modify it the way I wanted to. So I rented before I bought and tried it out, which I highly recommend. Going into this lifestyle is so different from living in a house, so being able to try it out is so important, I think, before making this big financial decision. So that's what I did, and um, renting out was very affordable. I'm just really grateful for this lifestyle, even with the challenges of planning ahead a little bit more because of COVID and not being able to meet people like I would love to. Um, I still love it. I feel safe and secure here and I'm just grateful to have my cat here too with me who is just the sweetest thing ever and I can't wait for you to meet her. She's sleeping right now up there but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your patience. I hope that you, that you got something out of this and um, yeah I'll see you in the next one. I can't wait to give you guys a tour of my home on wheels. The Zen Den. And yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day and take care. Bye.